What up, world? Welcome to Ask Brizzy, where every once in a while I answer your questions. Let's get to it. Have you ever had your tongue pierced? No. I've actually never had anything pierced. Not even my ears. I get that comment a lot. Apparently, I guess when I stick out my tongue, ah, eh, ah, there's some sort of dent in it that I guess people think looks like a hole, so I guess they figure that I've had my tongue pierced, but nope. I just... Have a weird tongue, guys. Do you speak any other languages? Si puedo hablar un poco de español, pero no es perfecto. Pero más o menos puedo comunicar, sabes? No sé qué decir, pero pero sí, español un poco. Estudié en España en Madrid por cuatro meses. So yeah. Harry Potter versus Star Wars. Harry Potter. Obviously. It's kind of unfair to compare the two, to be honest, because Harry Potter's main medium is books, and Star Wars is obviously movies, so like, it's it's not cool to compare the two, but obviously if I had to choose one, it'd be Harry Potter, my one you love. Harry Potter or YouTube? Sorry, you guys like to ask me, Harry Potter or this? Harry Potter or that? The answer is always Harry Potter. Do you, do you get this? It's always Harry Potter. Always. <laughs> See, the only question I'd like hesitate on is if you were like, Harry Potter, or your family. Harry Potter or your pets. And then I'd be like, oh, dang it, oh, give me a second. But no, I promise I would choose my family and my animals. I would just have to take a second to think about it. What is the best way to do a good Harley Quinn impression as I'm practicing for Comic-Con? Okay, this is the best way I can explain the aspects of Harley Quinn's voice. So first, start out with a Brooklyn accent, just something really nice and lazy. If you're from Brooklyn, no offense, I know you don't all talk like this. Then you wanna make it really high pitched or even more high pitched somewhere around here. And then you wanna make it nice and sing-songy. So you're just lolling around and having fun like Harley Quinn. I don't usually think of it as those three separate categories, but if that helps for your brain, Great! Are there any videos you regret making because of comments or embarrassing moments? No, there are no videos that I regret in their entirety. There are videos that I have regrets about, like my really old Nickelodeon impressions video and Nintendo impressions video because I cuss in them and that's why I regret it. I really liked the videos as a whole, but I made them way before I had any young kids watching me, so I wasn't thinking about that. I didn't expect, you know, to have you lovelies watching this, so I wasn't like censoring myself at all but yeah that's that's what I feel bad about what is the secret fandom you're a part of that you haven't told us about yet my chemical romance did you know were you aware that I'm part of the MC army did you know because 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 I, I yes my loves, I love them <laughs> so much. If you could be anything else besides a voice actor slash YouTuber, what would you be and why? I'd be a screen actor, I'd be in movies, I'd be a movie star. That was the original plan anyway. I just wanted to be in movies, so that's an easy answer. If you had a lightsaber, what color would it be? It would be like a turquoise tealish mint color, turquoise-ish, tealish mint. How about that? Yeah, great, okay. Have you starred in any movie besides your Lifetime Christmas movie? For those who don't know, I am a screen actor when the opportunity presents itself. I have not actually starred in any movie. I have a very small part in a Lifetime movie, and I have a very small part in a movie called Tenured, which is coming out on February Third, I think, on Netflix. Don't quote me on that. And this movie's actually hilarious, so even if I weren't in it, I'd be like, yo, watch this. It's funny. Why are you so pretty? Genetics and makeup and your personal taste, which is a result, I assume, of the chemical makeup of your brain and your life experiences in society and what it tells you is attractive. Ding! <laughs> what would you do if you got sorted into Hufflepuff? I'd probably make a lot of really good friends. <laughs> are you planning on getting married? If so, to whom? No. No, 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 thank you. Zero interest. No. If you're ever going through a hard time, what helps you feel better? One thing that I like to do sometimes when I'm alone is either, I don't know, driving in the car or sitting in the car and just talking my thoughts. Just speaking the thoughts out loud, all of them, in all of their honesty and just all of the good and bad, just put them into words and speak them out to nobody. It's almost like talking to a real person without having anyone judge you. And I also like to just cuddle my dog, just hug her, just hold my dog and cry. That, that, 
That helps. That sounded way more sad than like, like, I promise this isn't a regular thing, but like, when it needs to happen, you know it needs to happen. <laughs> Favorite song from Hamilton. Ooh. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da -da -da. Ever hugged an alpaca? I can't. I can't say that I have. What's the weirdest voice impression you can do? <laughs> Probably R2D2 screaming. <laughs> Who is your favorite roommate ever? You are, Alexis. You are. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? Danny. Danny, 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 Danny. Daenerys. Where do you plan on visiting this year? Do you have any plans to visit Canada? <laughs> LOL. Um, I don't have specific plans to visit Canada. Not ruling it out. Specifically, I plan on going to Orlando once or twice. South Carolina, I'm sure at some point, especially because the Quidditch World Cup is in South Carolina, so I'll probably end up there. Oh, and London. I'm going to London in October for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to get, get a little tour of the UK around there, so that would be great. Name three things that you admire about your physical appearance. Why do you do this? <laughs> My cheekbones. I don't know, I like that. I like my upper abs. I don't know what the word is for that. Uh, and uh, three, my teeth. My teeth are fairly white and fairly straight, so I guess I like them okay. <laughs> if Lockhart was to make seven horcruxes, what would he use? I've never heard this question before. Did you make it up? He would use a mirror, some sort of handheld mirror, a hairbrush, a first edition of his first best-selling book, uh, his favorite writing quill. <laughs> I have to name three more, good God. Uh, definitely some form of jewelry. I feel like kind of like Voldemort, he would have some form of like family heirloom jewelry that he would want to make a horcrux out of. And then uh, a toothbrush, even though I don't even know if wizards use toothbrushes. Some stuffed animal from when he was a baby. <laughs> like, like whatever stuffed animal it was that he was obsessed, that he took with him everywhere. It might have even been like a baby blanket, something like that he would be like really attached to and it'd be his horcrux. Uh, yeah, <laughs> On that note, thanks for all your questions, you guys. Follow me on Twitter if you're interested in taking part in this next time. Hit thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you guys next week with brand new video.